dismal performance at a school with particularly brain-dead children. I came on stage with the bow tie in some way... I never, I never saw what it was like myself, and Olivia Coleman pissed herself. <laughs> <laughs> Just literally opened her bladder there in the middle of the scene. Um, and it was... Uh, I've, I've never, never before or since have I seen anyone actually piss themselves <laughs> like And there's a lot more piss in a human than you'd expect. <laughs> really... It was really loads. Did, did the kids react? <laughs> they, as far as I can remember, they didn't really react. <laughs> did they not notice? I don't think they did. I noticed. <laughs> I, I particularly noticed the point when it started to <laughs> overflow her shoes. <laughs> Point I realised that the stage was raked. <laughs> it started to head gradually <laughs> towards the front row, but th they never seemed to notice at all. Um, oh my god! Uh, David's written a book about his life. Yes. Jennifer, the other thing in because I, I mean, you know, I knew you had perfumes. Yes. And, stuff, and they were worth millions of dollars and stuff. We've done good with the perfumes. But you're are you like at Forbes Most Powerful list, which is he, like the business magazine? Yes. Are, you're like number one for the celebrity. In. Yeah, last year I was. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like that is quite an achievement. It was awesome. I didn't expect it. Well, you kind of should, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, so it's there's the acting, the singing, there's the perfume. But on top of that, you can get Jennifer Lopez bed linen, sportswear, dresses, handbags, jewelry, shoes, sleepwear. Are you always looking for new ideas? Not really. I think... Say, say you are. OK. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, because, may I draw your attention to a website, patentlysilly.com. OK. Now, these are uh, real things. People all over the world are constantly trying to invent right. new things. Uh -oh. And they lodge patents for the ideas, right? right? So, uh, now, David, you've done lots of voiceovers. I, I have. Yes. yes. So, uh, yeah. if I could give you, if I give you these to read out, Right, these are little, you know, just little pictures, yeah. little pictures, okay. and we'll give you some, we'll give you some uh, selling music. Improv. If you do, <laughs> number five down there, number five down there. Okay. These are real people. Really thought they Got could it. sell these. Okay. Product number one. Do you enjoy playing golf but find your lack of arms is a drawback? <laughs> then you need this telescopic putter mounted to head back. <laughs> now I might understand this <laughs> if he didn't have arms. Right. <laughs> See the arms there. He's not even holding a drink. Uh, <laughs> you play golf, don't you? Yeah, I'd buy that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, is, is there? There's no use for that, is there? I, I don't think so. But I'm a shocker. I get roped in them late night things where they say, "Get your abs here," and oh, I'm yeah. on phone, me go on then. Do you really buy those things to <laughs> dissolve a penny? I bought loads of crap in my time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, Jennifer, can you understand what Freddie's saying? Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm really hanging in there. <laughs> it's a nice noise, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, oh, it's good. It's a nice <laughs> noise. <laughs> it's like a cat purring beside mm. you. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let's have the next one, David. Okay. Still using an old fashioned toothbrush? Try a more industrial solution with this high pressure water spray device <laughs> for cleaning teeth. <laughs> Drown. That's, that's I feel like I have one of those. No. A, the spray thing? You have to plumb it in, presumably. <laughs> it has to have a, if there's water coming out of it, there's only so much water. There'd have to be a hose attached to the bottom of it, wouldn't there? No, it has like a little canister and you fill it up with water and then you like, and then it's. <laughs> Sprays the water. You guys don't have Are this. You're the here? most powerful businesswoman in the world. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now the next one. The next one. Because you're a mother. Yes. Do you mind doing the voiceover for the next one? Sure. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so we just have some music. Is your baby happy and well adjusted? Change all that in an instant with this eye-catching and fun baby bottle accessory. <laughs> This is every shade of wrong. Uh, <laughs> there'll be therapists in the queue at the supermarket. I go, are you buying that? <laughs> Take my number. Your kid will need it. And my favorite bit of this, so someone's drawn this all the diagram. Da, da, da. The bear is wearing a little label that says, God loves me. <laughs> that is creepy. God loves me. No one else does. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, our final one, David, our final one. Okay. 
Guys, want to make love but can't quite get in the mood? She'll never suspect a thing with this handy and discreet device for treating erectiles. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, that's actually a very good product. <laughs> <laughs> well done, all the silly things. Now, before we, uh, before we welcome back the big red chair for tonight's stories, it is time for some music. Now, this is a special treat. Now, Jennifer, I know you like to go to musicals. Yes, I do. OK. In fact, I saw you at the Book of Mormon on Broadway. You did not. Did I? No? <laughs> OK, then. Um, Pippin? <laughs> You weren't in it. You weren't in it or No, anything. no, no. I'm actually going to see Book of Mormon next week. How funny That's is that? That's how I know I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> we'll get a big surprise. We were sat there going, I have seen this. <laughs> It'd be like Freddie. But like, oh, yeah. I know. I did do this. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. Have you seen Once? No. It won the Tony. It won the Tony a few years ago. And I, I was actually going to see this on Broadway. Uh, I just loved it. Uh, it's based on the film of the same name, and it's now opened in the West End. So, here performing the Oscar-winning song, Falling Slowly, please welcome uh, Srenka Zvitersic and Declan Bennett, the stars of Once! <laughs> Sit down. Very good. Right. Um, so, it's uh, Declan Bennett and then... Zrinka? Zrinka? This is the best anybody ever did. You're kidding. <laughs> and this is Thank rubbish. You. <laughs> Zrinka Zvitersic. The best, trust me. Really? Yeah. How would you say it, though? Zrinka Zvitersic. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you're quite good. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I, no, I, I was saying to the guys, I love this show. But it's very hard to explain to people, because I've seen it a couple of times, and you just end up bawling in tears, and yet it's such a kind of gentle, bittersweet story. Because it's so... It's really delicate, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like really and yet it just packs such a punch. Yeah. I'm a little teary now. I know, you really should know. I'm dying to see it. Well, it's still on on Broadway as well, isn't it? It yeah, is, yeah. It is. Yeah, go see it there. I will. Yeah, because you've seen them already. That's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, congratulations. Great reviews. The show is on at the Phoenix Theatre, and it's just, it's, uh, it's on. That's, that's it. It is. We just extended our booking period till, uh, till May 2014. So. He's on it. Ooh. He is on it. <laughs> Seriously, go see it. Go see it. Right. Um, just time, just time before we go, to have uh, a couple of stories in the big red chair. So, uh, who, who do we have? Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> 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 I remember this from last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, why don't you do that and tell you what happens? Do it right now? Just do it right now, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this from last time. That's what happens. Yeah. Can he come back now? Finished? That's yeah. not up. You, you spared us a lot there. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to be cruel, but uh, oh, Jennifer wanted to try the thing. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, another one. Here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Uh, my name's Eve. Eve. Where are you from, Eve? Uh, I live near Twickenham. Twickenham, lovely part of the world. You should go there, Jennifer. It's very nice. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing it tomorrow. Oh yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Forbes list. You yeah. can see why. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Eve. Off you go with your story. OK, so I was walking down the road and I didn't have a lot of time to get ready. So as I was walking past um, a window... <laughs> We took a poll. We took a poll. Uh, okay, one final one. One final one. Here we go. Quick, quick, quick. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. That's good to know. Uh, what's your name? Caroline. <laughs> Caroline. And where do you live, Caroline? I live in Middlesex. All oh, right. And what do you do there? Okay. I'm a nanny. But oh. not for long, maybe, on Monday after this story. <laughs> Okay. I don't think that's the sort of thing the BBC <laughs> should be broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK, off you go with your story. Um, long time ago, I went on a blind date. Um, it didn't start very well. I got put on by a pigeon at the train station, <laughs> drank far too much wine, and he decided it would be a really good idea to go see a late-night movie in Leicester Square. So, having fallen asleep in the cinema, I thought, go to the loo, get myself together, come back, thought, I'm losing this guy here. 
So I sat down and started having a little fumble in his lap. <laughs> and this uh, girl leaned forward and said, um, excuse me, what are you doing my boyfriend? <laughs> I'm feeling up the wrong guy. My bed <laughs> is five rows behind. <laughs> so I had to apologise without getting punched in the face and then stagger back up the stairs to my guy who just looked at me like... No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> That's my story. You can walk! Oh, you can walk! Good story, good story. And well done, everyone! If you made the join us on the show and have a go in the red chair, you can. Just contact us via our website at this very address. Thank you to my guests tonight. Uh, Declan Bennett, Drinker, Zvidovic, David Mitchell, Freddie Flintoff, and Jennifer Lopez! from Robin Thicke featuring Pharrell, comedian Mickey Flanagan, ex-Downton Abbey star Dan Stevens, and national star Hayden Pantier. I'll see you then. Good night,